ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಗೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾಹೃತಿ ಪರಾಶರಮುನಿ ವಂದೇ ಕತಪೌರ್ವಾಕ್ರಿಯ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ಪರಿಪ್ರಚ ಪ್ರತಿಬದ್ಧ ವಿವಾದ್ಯ ಚರ್ಮಕ್ಷೇತ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ವಿ ಟಚ್ ದ ಪಾನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಔರುರ್ವ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಣ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವು ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಸರ ನ್ಯಾರೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಟು ಸೇಜ್ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಸರ ನ್ಯಾರೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ಈಸ್ ದ ಜೆಮ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಪುರಾಣ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜಾಸ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಯಾಮುನ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಳವಂದಾರ್ ಹಿ ಆಡ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಈಸ್ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಜೆಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರಮ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಯಮನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಶರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಟು ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಶರ ನನ್ರಿ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಶರ ತತ್ವೇನ ಚಿದಚಿ ಸ್ವರ ತತ್ವ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಭೋಗೋ ಭೋಗಾಪವರ್ಗ ತದುಪಾಯ ಗತಿರುದಾರ ಶಂದರ್ಶಯನ್ ನಿರಮಿಮೀತ ಪುರಾಣರತ್ನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮೋ ಮುನಿವರಾಯ ಪರಾಶರಾಯ ತತ್ವೇನ ಯಚಿತ್ ಅಚಿತ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ತತ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಭೋಗಾಪವರ್ಗ ತದುಪಾಯ ಗತಿರುದಾರ ತತ್ವೇನ ದ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಚಿತ್ ಅಚಿತ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಚಿತ್ which is us the jivatma the individual soul the sentient achit the insentient the non sentient the prakriti the matter ishwara the one who has these two as his shariram as his body tat swabhava these three essential nature bhogo pavarga bhoga pavarga tadupaya gati rudaraha bhoga experience of pleasures the and the the swarga anubhavam the atma anubhavam and the moksha anubhavam all these are described this moksha anubhavam can be obtained through bhakti or sharanagati gati rudaraha gati the the way the path shandarshayan niramimita purana ratnam this were described in detail these were described in great detail extensive detail by sage parasara in vishnu purana that's what yamanacharya says which which are the ones which were described chit achit ishwara and the way the margam and the gati as well as the moksha anubhavam everything ನಿರಮಿಮೀತ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಗೇವ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮೋ ಮುನಿವರಾಯ ಪರಾಶರಾಯ ಟು ದಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರಸ್ ಉದಾರ ಪರಮೋದಾರ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹ್ಯುಮ್ಯಾನಿಟಿ ಬೈ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಬೈ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಶರ ಐ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಐ ಒಪೇ ಅಪ್ ಅವರ್ ಒಬೇಸನ್ಸ್ says sage uh, saint yamunacharya our acharya and we need to do the same by by enjoying this purana ratnam and by getting the opportunity to enjoy this purana ratnam regardless of my ramblings still we should pay our obeisance to sage parasara of narrating to sage maitreya the entire vishnu purana so beautifully narrated which talks in crystal clear terms about the srishti about the vamsams about the charitrams 
about the code of conduct about the varnashrama dharmam everything and now we are enjoying the varnashrama dharmam which is what we talked about which just now about the aururva smriti we did mention about yama addressing to yama dutas and all that now this aururva smriti bishma acharya instructs about the varnashrama dharmam to nakulan nakulan is one of the pancha pandavas we know yudhishthiran bhiman arjuna nakulan sahadevan so this nakulan was taught by bishma acharya instructed by bishma acharya about the do's and don'ts of vishnu purana sorry the do's and don'ts of varnashrama dharma in vishnu purana which is it is part of the text called aururva smriti because it is recorded by sage aururvar to king sagaran this is the text of record instruction as given by sage aururvar to king sagaran and the king sa- and this the salient features of this aururva smriti are very many but we we touch upon the essential points and of course we would we would mull over the code of conduct given by aururvar to our king sagaran the food devoured food consumed by a person who does not take bath is equal to dirt so we should offer our food to bhagavan perform puja just fold your hands utter one shloka if you don't know at least sri ram 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 eh ti ram eh ram eh manoram eh sagastra nama tattulyam ram nama varanane if you don't know even that at least achyuta ananta govinda keshava narayana madhava so we should we should offer the food prasadam to perman and after offering to him we should take partake as bhagavat prasadam and we should take for we the food partaken by a person after the tirvaradhanam after the puja is amartam the person who has taken the food without offering to the food uh, without offering to the lord is equal to some dirt and if he has not done mantra japam one should be initiated by the acharyan and do japam after the sandhya vandanam we don't do even sandhya vandanam why to talk about japam so the food without offering to perumal is complete dirt waste so we should not take that and cleanliness is very important that's why we we always say so this is we should always be pure in body in in speech in mind everything a person who is following grahastha ashram must take the sandal paste which is offered to vishnu as prasadam and apply it on the on our body people following these varnashrama dharma should always be pleasant auspicious they should wear the the flower or the tulasi which is offered to vishnu they should adorn they should adorn the tulasi or the flowers on our body trimeni so while offering new garlands to perumal we should take the old garland and we should we should wear that old garland because it is bhagavat prasadam or we should give it to our spouse and when we perform trikala sandhya vandanam when we do the bhagavad aaradhana we should follow always the proper vedic dress code we should not wear shorts and then offer to perman we should wear that vedic dress code the men should wear the veshti the dhoti practicing grahastha ashrama dharma should wear dhoti called panchakacham 
with an upper cloth called uttariya and women should wear the traditional sari that that's what aurarvar says don't blame me i am not saying this everyone must dine after washing their feet their feet must stay wet while eating food except while sleeping the feet must be washed and dried because the the bed would become wet probably because of that and they say people must sit down on the ground facing the eastern direction preferably while eating while dining but i don't know my in my house the dining table is kept somewhere else i cannot sit on the ground it has to, and it faces the north so the ut- we we have 101 reasons not to do these things that is why there is a shloka akrityanam chakaranam krityanam varjanam chame chamasva nikilam deva pranatarthi hara prabho swami desikan mentions in one of the stotras akrityanam chakaranam that which is not to be done i am doing that which is to be done i am not doing so please forgive me o lord this we should utter every time so the at the utensils used to serve used to take used to offer to perumal and the one which is used for cooking they all should be different and that must be clean and approved by shastra food must be respected the veda upanishad says annam na nindyat we should never we should never scold food abuse food we should say em tale eluthe indha mari saapadala saapannona we should never say that food should be consumed with respect and it is because it is offered to perumal it is bhagavat prasadam one must fold their hands in prayer before commencing the meal while eating one must meditate upon their ishta devata the deity of their choice and partake food as bhagavat prasadam with full focus and concentration on eating because we are offering to the antaryami the indweller who is residing in our in the cavity of our heart we should offer to him the antaryami and we should not look at the phone watch tv while eating or even argue with our spouse while eating we should preferably not not in indulge in unnecessary conversation and must eat in silence and if if we have guest probably we can we can honor the guest we can ask the guest what he wants whether he wants some more some more uh, uh, spoons of sambar or vegetable the needs of our guest can be of asked that conversation can be had people should concentrate on the on the food they are eating and must not be distracted read magazine watch tv look at the phone I, I, now the worst is have a bluetooth speaker on your ears and f- just oblivious of the present oblivious of what we are eating and uh, we would be just enjoying from through the bluetooth speaker meals must be started by eating something sweet they say that's why they used to offer sugar and banana water must be sipped between bites they say but anyway the uh, the food must be concluded by drinking some sort of liquid and of course we should never take onion garlic and such food which are uh, which are ought to be avoided by shastra they say onion and garlic have got medicinal value why should we not take that question arises there are very many very many anecdotes and shastric injunctions which say that onion and garlic should be avoided because they 
they kind of aggravate our rajasic gunas they stimulate our sensory pursuits sensual pursuits we get into more rajasic gunas already we are caught into severe sense we are caught in that drowned in the sense organs pull the influences of our sense organ and if we take onion garlic then gone case so all these are based for the physical eating and which essentially would make us become little bit satvik thereby we can slightly uplift ourselves in the spiritual pursuit they don't say you become sanyasi they say you perform your gragastha ashrama dharma but in accordance with shastras aurorva magarishi provided the insight of the physical appearance and people of people you should have a pleasing outlook must wear clean clothing you should never ever speak unkind harsh words to others nor should you talk falsely in praise of others you don't have to flatter somebody it should be beneficial to people it should be priyam to people they must encourage others to do good activities and we should we should never ever lecture others for hours together just like what adian is doing we should never lecture whether others like it or not keep on yapping should not do we should keep our instructions advice short brief concise every day we should aim to perform activities which will benefit the humanity community children animals birds we should lead a balanced life completely devoid of arrogance pride false ego greed lust alukkar ava vegul inna chol innangum ilukka yendra daram valluvar says so the jealousy anger lust greed all these things go against our a vaishnav's code of conduct in fact there is a there is a huge list of vaishnav code of conduct inspired by this our uh, our sage ramanuja acharya our saint acharya sarvabhauman the guru he had he had lived 1000 years back and when he was he was a great acharya of catholicity he used to weep for the humanity he had come he had contributed so much to the community the humanity his heart was always for the humanity as a as an acharya he was ideal great but his practices did not fall short he was he was practicing what he preached for him the human society is one the best all sections of the people should receive due and respect from everyone from him that's what he was asking he was he was yearning for same treatment for everyone that's what a, a bhakta a bhagavata should behave and he he because vyasa the one who classified the vedas the one who comp- composed all these puranas the one who wrote the brahma sutra the one who wrote the mahabharata the one who blessed us with so many things he classifies the itihasas and puranas and he says it is virtuous to be altruistic to be a philanthropist and it is evil to be maleficent paropakaraya punnyaya papaya para para pidanam he mentions so our heart should always be for the humanity service to our own acharya is ultimate and service to any other bhagavata should be always there 
serve any devotee of Vishnu, any devotee of God, any human being, as you would serve your own Acharya. You should serve the Vishnu's devotee, the Bhagavata, like you serve your own Acharya. One should have complete faith. One should have complete respect, reverence for the Acharya, the Acharya's Sri Suktis, Acharya's works, all the Acharya's works. Because they have blessed us with these works only because of their compassion, their daya, their karunya manas, dayaika sindoho, their ocean of compassion. One should not be a slave to his senses. When I say his, it also means hers. One should never be a, a slave to our senses. And one should never indulge in sensual pleasures all the time. With the Grahasthasthva Dharma, in accordance with Shastras, we should have the Bhogam marital bliss as it is given to us. Time should not be wasted in, in reading that which gives the, the useless things. The, you open the paper, you have all the negative stuff. Let's not waste our time because the time and tide wait for no one. Always contemplate upon the study of the Lord study of his manifestation, his avataram, his kalyana gunas, his glories, his vaibhavam, his plan for the individual soul. Always contemplate, listen to the kathas, read. Terit terid vashittum ketum vanangi vadipattum pushittum pokkinen podu. Thirmaishi Alvar says, Terit yedidi, whatever that you know, learn, read, write. Vasittum, ketum, read, listen, vadangi, vadipattum, pay for with folded hands, offer, puja, pusittum, pokin and podu, perform trivaradhana. Like that, you spend your time. Of course, go to office, do all that, do your normal work. Other than that, and having approached the acharya, we have, we, because we are blessed with such an Acharya Kataksham, which is not in our hands, it is Pirval's intervention. He is the one who has sent you here to listen to this, in spite of my talking. It is he who makes us listen. So we should never, have, in, a, in the matter of sensual pleasures, we should be cost cautious. And practice of the, of the, practice of the Acharya's works is not the means, is the end. That is, Acharya's work should be practiced and that's the ultimate. And while addressing the Bhagavatas, we should never say uh, tu. In Hindi, we say tu. Tu ye karo, tu wo karo. You should never, it should never be singular. It should be plural. Means, we should say aap. Ningal. In English, both are you. That's why I'm not specifically saying it in English. We should use Devari, Ningal, like that. Respect. Always be humble to them. Tud Britya Britya Paricharaka Britya 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 Sya Britya Yitimams Paralokanata. I should be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Vishnu's devotee, says Kulasekar Alvar in Mukundamala. So when a when a Bhagavata is in sight, approach him with folded hands in all respect, in all reverence. We should say, we should not say, I don't know whether he is a Bhagavata. How do I know? For be, before getting your doubts cleared, assume that he is a Bhagavata. Don't try to disprove. Think that he is until it is proven to you in your face that he is not. First of all, are we? So, while sleeping, take care that the feet do not extend toward the Perimal Sanidhi, where your Perimal picture is there. And of course, we sh the moment we get up, we should think of the Guru Parampara, we should say Hari 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 Hari, Hari Hari Hari. 
and when a, when a learned person is chanting the virtues of god is talking about the kalyana gunams of perumal pay due respect to him do not st- stop in between and say no no i think it is this way and not that way maybe he is telling his own version maybe he is making a slip but just let him continue and when a, when a, when a bhagavata is approaching go forward go one step forward and meet him do not just sit there and wait for him to come over so all these instructions were given by ramanuja to his shishyas and one should not be awfully wonderstruck when the material palatial buildings are there when you see a huge condo condominium when you see a when you see a wonderful audi car lamborghini so you should say wow i wish i had that L- try to control your temptations one should not be awfully wonder we can say that god srishti is so beautiful the car is so awesome we may say but one should not be feel and inclined to hear see enjoy about the mundane things mundane affairs when the divine qualities are being praised and sung listen with all attention enjoy the bliss it's easier said than done you may ask are you doing i'm not it is only to reinforce and remind myself before even talking to you i'm just thinking loud with you all so that one millionth of these instructions will get drilled into our head and do not do not even dishonor even the shades of bhagavata do not dishonor do not comment upon them adversely we should not say you are saying he is a bhagavata i know i heard that he dis- he does this he does that no point it is between him and the parivar the equation they will take care if he is really doing wrong thing parivar will take care. if he is the doing the right thing and you are only sending the gossip you are going to incur sin so if you really want to change him and if you know that he is on the wrong track go to him and respectfully you may just correct him but not spread to others everyone except him be having touched or contact contacted the non bhagavata try to stay afloat means we we need to get indulged involved with so many non devotees in our work in our school in our day to day life but that's only for that particular purpose and we don't have to always be hanging around with them and go after the office go for the happy hours nothing do not neglect or look down the the bhagavatas whether they are rich or whether they are not rich whether they are whether they are in rags how they look how they behave they are devotees of parman that's all and when when a bhagavata when a bhagavata greets you with salutation adian namo narayana you also reciprocate and one should not raise and praise himself and his virtues in the presence of others other bhagavatas one should be conscious of your our own insignificance all the time about this i can mention next time uh, about the yudhishthira arjuna episode where praising oneself or scolding others how it is considered as even by our lord krishna so none should be insulted or injured in the presence of bhagavata the virtues of guru the virtues of devotee should always be contemplated and chanted in adoration in admiration before any work is taken up by us so even if another bhagavata scolds us or corrects us or rectifies us then we should never which we talked about last week we should never rebuff or rebuke retort and say no vehemently angrily retort 
we should just if you if you don't agree keep silent if you agree let us change ourselves so enough said kavitarki kasimaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha dhanyosmi adiye